Blowback is the simplest form of firearms operating principle, and it's really just an application of Newton's third law. That is, the idea that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the case of a blowback firearm, the action of the bullet moving down the barrel is balanced by an equal and opposite movement of a big chunk of the gun's mechanical bits going the other direction. Now in this case it's a pistol slide, but for other types of blowback firearms it can be other parts of the gun, or parts with other names. As a firearm that loads through the breech, or the back end of the barrel, we of course have the barrel open at both ends. And when you fire, you're creating a tremendous amount of pressure in the barrel of the gun, many tens of thousands of pounds per square inch of pressure. What's critically important is that the back end not open up while all this pressure is still in the barrel. If that happens, it will explode out the back and potentially harm the person holding the gun. That is what the job that is the job of this brass cartridge case. It is there to maintain a gas tight seal in the back of the barrel. Now, with a blowback firearm, as soon as you fire, the bullet starts moving forward, and because of Newton's law, the slide immediately starts moving backwards. What makes this able to operate safely is the difference in mass and velocity between the slide, or the other part of the firearm that's blowing back in a different design. Um, the difference between the mass and velocity of this and the mass and velocity of the bullet. Because what we have to balance, according to Newton, is energy, that is a combination of mass and velocity, the bullet has, relatively speaking, a very low mass and a very high velocity. Which means when we have a slide or other mechanical part of the gun here with a much, much higher mass, it is going to have a proportionally lower velocity. The trick to balancing this so that it functions properly is to make sure that the slide is heavy enough that it doesn't open enough that the brass case might rupture before the bullet has left the barrel. Once the bullet leaves the barrel, then all of this gas pressure just vents out the front of the gun. In the practical world, this works out to be a system that works quite well with pistol caliber cartridges, relatively low power cartridges, and not so well with higher power rifle cartridges. And that's all just a matter of balancing the amount of energy going downrange in the bullet with the amount of mass that has to reciprocate backwards in order to balance it out. So in a pistol, as we just saw, that's the slide. In a submachine gun, that's the bolt operating up here. It does the same job. This acts as the mass that goes backward at the exact same time as the bullet begins to go forward. Technically, this can work with any power of cartridge. However, once you get above large pistol cartridges, the amount of mass required to adequately balance the bullet becomes quite large. Large enough that it's no longer really all that practical to design a gun in this way. There are a few variations on the blowback system that introduce delaying mechanisms, but we will cover those in a separate video. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions about what a blowback firearm actually is. I'm Ian McCollum with Forgotten Weapons. Thanks for watching.